How you doing, people? Welcome back to another ESO video. Today is a very, very important one and quite exciting at that. This is the update for 2024. Now, obviously, we're going to get more information as we go, but we were given the opportunity as a group in private to listen to Rich Lambert actually giving us a pre-preview preview we have been told officially that the Elder Scrolls Online chapter for 2024 is, of course, Gold Road. Now, this is in the West Weald and the main city hub that we are going to this time, and some of you already knew this because you guessed the obvious clues, is Skingrad. We haven't seen this place since Oblivion way back then in the Elder Scrolls 4, and we're going back there in the Elder Scrolls Online. Now, the story does technically follow on from Necrom, which ended in a big cliffhanger. We are following the path of a forgotten Daedric Prince. Now, she is called Ethelia, if I pronounce that correctly, and she has no idea who she is. Now, the location itself visually is very, shall we say, autumn-y. Everything's red and gold and green, and it just feels like it's autumn all year round. Very, very vibrant. The actual biome itself, it is actually split into three. So you've got the gold road, first of all, which is in a forest with fall colors and again, very autumn-y. Then you've got Valenwood, which is a jungle rainforest type thing. And then you've got the Colovian Highlands as well, which is rocky and hilly and dry. But again, fall colors. So autumn theme all the way through. Now, something else we have to consider, obviously, as far as the story is concerned, is it does actually have some Kappa quests. And if you don't know what I mean by that, Basically, if you've done Necrom and you do Gold Road and you've finished it all, there is extra stuff to unlock. So no spoilers there, but there's extra stuff. Off the story stuff now, we're going to go into features. Features for the upcoming year come into four different categories. We've got the two new dungeons in Q1. We've got the chapter in Q2, which we're still talking about. Don't worry, there's more to come with a new trial, obviously, called Lucent Citadel. Q3, we've got housing features. No hint, just housing features. That's all we're going to know for now. And Q4, get ready, people. Two new companions and a PvP feature that is not Cyrodiil related. Anyway, most important thing that people are obviously going to be screaming about, it's not called what you think it's called. It's called scribing. Now, they were very, very specific about that in the preview. And they said it's not spellcrafting. It is their own take on a feature called scribing where you actually customize your own skills. Now, you would argue, oh, that's spellcrafting, isn't it? No, not exactly. In the weapon skill lines and in the world skill lines and including guild skill lines as well, no class lines because obviously they didn't want to uh, restrict too many things, especially when it comes to uh, owning or not owning certain classes. The weapon skill lines and the world skills and the guild skills are going to have a feature in them where you will be able to unlock at least one skill for each line that you can tinker with and configure yourself. Now, there are three major resources in scribing. You've got Grimoire, which is a skill or core ability that never changes. So it could be um, a particular skill in a weapon skill line that is as it is. Then you've got scripts, which will allow each grimoire to have three sockets. Those three sockets are set up into categories of ability type. So you can make them heal, you can make them do damage, you can change the damage type, you can add a buff or debuff to it, and you decide how you construct that skill based on its original form. Then you've got inks, which is a reagent that you use to change an ability or to scribe it in the first place. 
Now there's one more very exciting feature. There is a styling system being added. You are going to be able to have, so far at launch, 22 different styles, all of which can be unlocked and earned in-game. And these styles will visually change the effects of your skills. For example, you may want to change your wall of elements purple. Yes, you can change the visual effects and style of the skills. Now, of course, keep your eyes peeled on the channel. The PTS for this is going to be quite a way away from now. We aren't due for release for this chapter until at least the 3rd of June on PC. So you can obviously expect the PTS to be around a month or so before then. Prior to that, however, a key date to pay attention to is the new update in update 41, which is the new dungeon DLC, and the PTS will be available for that on the 29th of January, officially. Now, the preview stream for that is going to be on the 26th of January at 3 p.m. EST, so prior to the chapter, obviously, we are going to know about that very soon. Thank you very much for watching, and if you missed it in the preview today on Twitch, here's the trailer.